Okay, how's it going, guys? Hope everyone's having a good day today. Um, something I wanted to talk to you about that I haven't really gotten to touch is uh, the whole like Casey Anthony situation. Like, it's kind of overblown. Like how much hate she's getting. Everyone's threatening to kill her and stuff. But like, I think your hate's focused the wrong way. Like, if you really want to hate anyone. Blame the police for fucking up the investigation. Blame the prosecutor who couldn't, you know, hit an easy home run on this case. I mean, everything was right there. You know what it was? I think everyone just took it too easy. Like, oh, she's going to be guilty. Everyone knows, you know, the fact and stuff. But the thing is, when you select a jury, the jury's supposed to, like, not watch any of the news. They're supposed to be completely clear. I don't know how possible that is, but supposedly the jury didn't know anything. So the prosecutor still had to, you know, win the case as, mo as easy as it appeared. If you're gonna blame anyone, you gotta blame the prosecutor here. Like, how do you not how do you not convict somebody that has so many things going like against her? Like, I don't know. I mean, if I was to make a bet before, I'd say she'd be fucking she'd be like, you know, on death row by now. But I mean, no, you can't hate her. And there's another story about the um, there's a 40 year old, 43 year old black man whose name is also Casey Anthony. Who's getting uh, like a shitload of like death threats and stuff on Facebook just because he has the same name? Like, are you guys really that crazy about this whole like situation? Like, you, I mean, she's innocent in the eyes of the law. You can't go out there and what throw bricks at her. I mean, she's suffered enough as it is. Like, I mean, you know, every, every I mean, I know she's guilty and she she's gonna like rot in hell for what she did. But you can't, I don't know, you can't take vigilante justice into your own hands. Like. If you're gonna hate anyone, hate the police, like for screwing up the investigation. Hate the prosecutor. Don't go out there and like do something stupid and get yourself in trouble for, you know, attacking Casey Anthony. She's her, she's just, her life is over. Like, can you imagine her getting a job after this? Like, oh, yeah, I killed my child, and but I'm free now. So like, no, she's she's screwed. Her life is over as it is. You don't have to make it worse for her. And don't don't harass somebody who has the same name as Casey Anthony. He's too stupid to realize it. Like. I bet those are some of my YouTube haters there too, like attacking this guy. He was in fucking Philadelphia. He's a he's a he's a guy. Like he's like a couple. He's like decades older than the actual Casey Anthony. You you can't make the fucking distinction. Like come on. I mean, I don't know. Like, it kind of I me mean, kind of sucks for her. You know, she's everyone hates her. At least when OJ was, you know, was released, like the entire black community was pretty happy because you know, it was kind of like almost like a freedom for racial oppression. Here everyone hates her. Women hate her, you know, all type, all races hate her. Like, Casey Anthony has no backers. Her only backer is her mom, and she's fucking like crazy. So, I mean, do I feel a little bit bad for her? Yeah, I mean, she's been through hell, and fucking, she's free now, but, you know, people threaten like, burn her house down and shit. Like, come on, guys, get, you know. I don't know, don't take the law into your own hands. It's my personal advice, then again, you know, I broadcast news from a tool shed, so I mean, I don't